It's the NFL playoffs. So Maroon 5 is uh, going to be the halftime act. Everybody's okay. aware yeah. of that, right? right? So that's been the, the headliner. And Maroon 5 guaranteed that they'd have other people perform with them. However, they're struggling to find people to help them perform. And a lot of it is because simply what's going on in the NFL with how Colin Kaepernick's being treated. Acts have come out and basically said wow. they're not going to perform in uh, alliance and allegiance with Colin Kaepernick. So the question now is becoming, is the Super Bowl desirable enough for people to want to perform? Form, and how much is the Kaepernick effect happening? Because Maroon 5 said, essentially, we've reached out to a half dozen people and we haven't gotten a response back. Some being Andre 3000 of Outkast. You've had Cardi B, potentially Nicki Minaj. Usher, nobody will confirm. Uh, do you think people should jump on with Maroon 5 or do you support this, hey, we're going to sit this thing out? You know, it's interesting. If you uh, if you look back at the last few years of the Super Bowl halftime show, how amazing have they been? Been amazing. You know, they're over the top. Bruno Mars, I think, was one of the best of all. Lady they, Gaga, they, they, Beyonce. Exactly. Those guys were unbelievable. So yeah. maybe the, the bar might be kind of set pretty high and people might also be a little afraid to take on the challenge. That's a Bruno Mars last year or something else. How much do you guys think it's paying for this halftime act? It doesn't pay anything. Exactly. There's zero. Oh. So but, that's a huge part of this. You make so much money the following day. Lady Gaga's sales went up 1,000% the day after the Super Bowl. So there was a point when the NFL actually wanted the performers and the record labels to pay to put the artists on the Super Bowl, which wow. is crazy because any other big event, you would get paid for it. I just, it's crazy to me. This is the biggest opportunity for an artist in the world, and everyone feels like they have to say no. Like, there's other ways to use your Way, to use your voice, right? Yeah, but I think this you is a very this strong. I think this is a very and then speak out in support of people. I think this is a very strong way to to make your your stance heard. If you have a a halftime show that falls flat because people refuse to perform in it, in a place like That's Atlanta, wrong. where look, you, you need diversity. You need to celebrate diversity, especially with the NFL, who's taking so many hits. So you mm -hmm. can't just have Maroon Five. You need some some other faces with some color added along to it. If they're devoid of that because of what's going on, that's mm -hmm. going to put the halftime show at an expense. It's going to make the NFL look bad and all of this happening in a city that has cultivated so much black music as you mm -hmm. look at Detroit with Motown you also look at Atlanta and if there is no black faces or yeah. minority voices man that is going to be a jarring jarring thing so I think Maroon 5 put in a very tough position right here because they didn't decline they accepted to perform and that's no negative on them but what are they going to do with this who are they going to get to join them and I think that's a pretty big thing I hope I'm I mean it'd be nice to see Cardi out there It'd be nice to see somebody out there. Yeah. I mean, Cardi, somebody's going to yeah. step up and do it. It's, yeah. it's a great opportunity for someone. And, you know, Atlanta is such like, they take a lot of pride in their music, right? So, yeah. I, I mean, I think someone's going to step up, fill that void, and, you know. Curious to see time. who. Yeah, curious to <laughs> see who, and it's going to be an amazing halftime show. Not only that, how about the how about the Star Spangled Banner? You know, Whitney Houston saying maybe one of the most iconic ever. That is a big part of this, too, is who sings the, the national anthem. And yeah. so far, there's nobody slated for that either. <laughs> so, it's going to be really interesting to see how they handle this thing. Either way. Chicago Bears are going to be there, everybody. Bell I Bears. can promise you. I can promise you that. Yes. <laughs>